Well, let's turn our attention to Prince Andrew now, whose legal battles continue apace in America, and he continues to deny all allegations against him. We heard from Rebecca just now, but before we speak to our panel, let's get the analysis of the Daily Mail's editor-at-large, Richard Kay. I think the gloves are off. I mean, after months, it seems, of absolute silence on Andrew's part, he's not really engaged with the whole process ever since the famous Newsnight interview. And um, I think in a, in a hope, really, that the whole thing would just go away. Well, it hasn't gone away. We knew it wouldn't go away. And he's hired these um, very aggressive, confrontational lawyers who are used to dealing with celebrities who find themselves in hot water. And their stance has been, no, we go on the attack. And so in this last-minute deposition, submission, as it is, by Andrew, in which he's calling for the judge in New York to throw out the charges against him by Virginia Giuffre, um, the lawyers have not pulled their punches. The, the danger for Andrew is, and it's already happened, frankly, is that he looks like he's victim-shaming uh, Virginia Roberts, who, who, let's be absolutely clear about this, is most definitely a victim. There is a, a sort of a view to take here that Andrew's lawyers are saying, look, we're not saying that she was a, a bad woman, but what they've done is that they have included with their submission articles, or at least one article, I think, from a New York newspaper in which former friends of Virginia's um, make a, a number of allegations about her, about her being um, uh, sex-hungry, uh, that she worked to procure girls for Epstein anyway, and that she's looking for another payday. And that centrally is the Andrew case. He, he is going to have to start preparing himself for an interrogation. Um, we, we now know uh, from New York this week that uh, there has been a development. Um, the judge has indicated that there can be a trial to hear the case sometime between September and December of next year. Um, if it gets that far, of course, Andrew will still be hoping um, that his lawyers can succeed in getting the judge to throw it out. But if it doesn't happen, then yeah, he's going to have some questions to answer. Returning to my panel now, and Ed, coming to you first. This punchy stuff from Andrew. Is it a risk, though, that the remedy is worse than the disease for him? Yeah, as we've just heard, the gloves are off, and I think, frankly, this is a low blow. Mm. Uh, he's dragging up this, this individual's personal hi history, looking at Virginia Giuffre's uh, past before uh, she was involved with Epstein and then accusing her, essentially, of being complicit in that operation. Um, who's advising Andrew? Who is suggesting that this is uh, the right moral line to take uh, in this case? I wonder if it's a desperate only line to take. Mm, I think it could be. Yeah. Uh, I, d I think this is, this to me smacks of desperation. Mm. Uh, where is this case going? He's trying to get it thrown out by the judge. Uh, I, was, I was struck uh, when I first read the reports uh, about this, this change in tact. Mm. I mean, Richard, we've talked a bit about this before, but the reputational risk to the wider royal family on the back of this, particularly how it's playing out in America, must be of concern at the palace. I think it's a real problem. I mean, when we saw the video recording that the Queen made to COP26, I think um, the fact she, you know, doesn't look well, you know, could be in, in good part because of the stress she's been caused by Prince Andrew and also continuing aggro she gets from Harry and Meghan. Well, and she's, you know, and then her husband died. She's mm. had yeah. quite a year. I mean, yeah. what a stressful year. But, mm. you know, this is a terrible headache, the Prince Andrew case. And remember, this is, should be a year, next year, 2023, we should be celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. You know, what an achievement. It should be such a joyous occasion. But we're going to have this um, civil case revolting case it's going to be in America mm -hmm. with with Prince Andrew trying to prove um, how um, you know, dodgy his accuser is. I mean, it's it's going to be horrific. It might be a speculation too far, but do either of you think that any of that point weighs on Andrew's mind? Do you think he feels bad about bringing all of this mess into his mum's life? Clearly it is causing mum stress, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, he's, he's behaving in such a way that I think plays sort of scant regard to uh, what the, op the operation that Charles and the Queen are currently trying to manage. They are uh, preparing for a succession. It's going to happen in a, in a couple of years, maybe a few, a few more than that. But they are trying at the moment to consolidate what the monarchy's doing, to sort of like steer the ship in a, in a slightly new direction, and we've got distraction 
from Andrew uh, and these headlines, uh, as Richard just said, mm. next year are going to prove a massive distraction from the Platinum Jubilee. It does make you wonder why Netflix is the crown ever had to sort of fictionalise or embellish anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the real life's quite something.